10 Most Underrated Action Horror Movies That Deserve More Love Horror movies are still widely evolving within Western cinema. Not to mention, it is the only one where indie low-budget films continue to thrive, even with the unleashing of high street filmmakers like George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. Action horror is a category that creates a hybrid of two genres that can't go wrong. Although Western cinema has a handful of remarkable action movies on one hand and horror movies on the other, when they come together, they create some of the best films of all time. This video will focus on a few such underrated gems that certainly deserve your attention. Before we go into our list, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click from you, but it means a lot to us. Thank you. Let's begin. <laughs> Mandy, 2018. This is an action horror film directed by Panos Cosmatos, co-written by him and Aaron Stewart on. This co-production between the United States and Canada stars Nicolas Cage, Andrea Riseborough, and Linus Roche. The plot is set in 1983 and portrays the lives of Red, a lumberjack living in a secluded cabin in the woods with his girlfriend Mandy. One day, she catches the eye of an insane cult leader who goes out of his way to kidnap her. Red sets out to rescue her with a crossbow and axe. He swears to stop at nothing until he finds her, even if that means having to succumb to brutal methods. At first, this film might appear to have a simple revenge plot with relatively less dialogue, but viewers will soon recognize its art house feature combined with the 80s grindhouse feel while Nicolas Cage gives an outstanding performance filled with rage and violence, the film has a lingering hint of surrealism, which is enhanced by its bloody atmosphere. The background music blends perfectly with the drug-induced hysteria and madness that is portrayed. Cosmatos' choice of colors used in the visuals go hand in hand with his modern cinematic technique. All in all, it is a perfect blend of violence, gore, dark comedic timing, and pays homage to Chainsaw films of the last four decades. It is no wonder that it acquired such a large cult following in such a short time. <laughs> Highway to Hell, 1992. Ate Diong directed this American B-movie comedy starring Chad Lowe, Christy Swanson, and Patrick Bergen. It narrates the tale of Charlie and his girlfriend Rachel, who are on their way to Vegas to elope. When they stop on the way for gas, they are given a mysterious message by the gas station owner. A few miles up the road, they fall asleep to rest for the night, and when Charlie awakens, he finds that Rachel has disappeared. This perpetuates a series of bizarre events that Charlie has to go through to find his girlfriend from the clutches of a most unusual captor. If you're a fan of quirky horror movies, this one will surely get you going. What starts as a straightforward horror comedy later turns into a storm of unexpected events. It is an intriguing film with a surprisingly smooth background score and is filled with plenty of action and comedy. Both Chad Lowe and Christy Swanson, who are in the early stages of their careers, do complete justice to their roles as refreshingly wimpy youngsters. Unfortunately, due to its B-movie elements, the horror is often camouflaged by the comedy. Nevertheless, it is a multi-genre hit of eccentric and imaginative comedy, drama, action, adventure, and horror. This underrated gem also happens to catch Ben Stiller in the beginning of his career, which is an experience in itself. Bottom line is, if you're looking for a trashy, violent horror film to spend the evening with, this is the one for you. <laughs> Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight. 1995 portrays Breaker, who is in the possession of the last of the seven keys to the containers that holds Christ's blood. This blood was scattered across the universe to prevent forces of evil from spreading terror. 
If the key falls in the wrong hands, it could disrupt the entire decorum of the universe. Someone dangerous is tracking Breaker in order to steal the key. The fate of the universe now lies in his hands. This is an American horror comedy movie directed by Ernest Dickerson. It stars Billy Zane, William Sadler, and Jada Pinkett. Ernest Dickerson directed this movie with utmost elegance. His combination of horror, comedy, and drama were exhibited in just the right amounts that resonated with the viewers. Both the acting and direction felt very natural and were in sync with the exhilarating plot. While the gore, nudity, and violence might not be a walk in the park for everyone, once viewers identify the tribute it pays to cheap 1950s B-movies, they begin to appreciate it over time. Additionally, the film also pays homage to the Crypt comic book legacy published in the 1950s by EC Comics. The setting presents a thrilling mythological setup that might even tickle the fancy of fantasy buffs. It is a frequently watched low-budget film that created a large fan base, despite not taking itself too seriously. No, 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 get out! I got him, I got him! <clears throat> yeah. 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 Dark Angel, 1990. Dark Angel is an American sci-fi action film it portrays Jack Kane, a renegade Houston vice cop who is determined to stop the largest drug trade and its supplier, Victor Manning. When things go sideways with him and his partner, he is appointed to work with FBI agent Lawrence Smith, and the two begin following a trail of mysterious deaths. Soon, they find out that they might be dealing with something far beyond their pay grade. Dark Angel is every action lover's dream come true. If you're a fan of Dolph Lundgren, it is a movie where he absolutely shines with his bright solo work. Until this point, he had only been seen in serious and stern action flicks. This was a refreshing, lucid, yet enjoyable change. Although it is surprisingly low-key for an action film, you can't help but appreciate the sci-fi elements which sneak up on viewers. At first, the cop and the FBI agent appear to be at crossroads with each other, but are later revealed to be imperative in each other's character development. What most viewers found to be the difference between this and usual 80s and 90s B-flicks is that this had no signs of being pretentious in its execution. <laughs> This is an American post-apocalyptic action horror film directed by Scott Stewart and stars Paul Bettany in the lead role. It is loosely based on the Korean comic of the same name by Hu Young Min Woo. It represents an alternate universe where humans and vampires have been at war for centuries. A legendary warrior priest who now lives in obscurity among other humans swears an oath to find his niece after the murderous vampires capture her. Priest has been appreciated for its slick, comic book-styled elements of action and fantasy. Although it is borrowed heavily from other futuristic universe sci-fi films, these have added a positive spin to the plot. It displays remarkable CGI and cinematography. Even in the realm of fantasy and horror, its narrative remains realistic, which is more than can be said for many movies of this genre. Paul Bettany portrays an excellent performance. Viewers' popular opinion entailing that his character traits have been influenced by Clint Eastwood. The film's best feature is its fresh perspective of vampires, which are usually portrayed as blood-sucking creatures of the night. Although it keeps up with the usual cliches, it still provides more layers to their species. It is the perfect film for someone seeking an entertaining set of fights, chases, and thrills combined with horror. And I'm all out of bubble. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. They Live, 1988. This American sci-fi action horror film is written and directed by John Carpenter. It is based on the 1963 short story 8 O'Clock in the Morning by Ray Nelson and stars Roddy Piper, Keith David, and Meg Foster. An unlucky construction worker, Nada, discovers a pair of glasses which allows him to see the world exactly as it is whenever he puts them on. Not only does he see a society heavily influenced by the media, he also notices something else that turns his world upside down. 
This film was created as an attack on the ongoing consumerism during the Reagan administration. For a poorly choreographed film with a low production value, They Live unleashes the true horrors of the 80s that people rarely talk about. It is not just a socio-political commentary, but also heavily dives into people's psyche. It reveals the deeply submerged suspicion that the human race is being manipulated by society's elite portion. Besides this allegory, there are several symbols in the film which convey this to the viewers. It is important not to forget that this is a John Carpenter movie after all. Therefore, all these elements are portrayed in an artistic and intelligent way without the film taking itself too seriously. With Roddy Piper and Keith David both dominating the screen, Carpenter seems to have made his own genre with impeccable camera work and an edgy soundtrack. Overlord 2018 Overlord is an American alternate history action horror film starring Jovan Adipo, Wyatt Russell, and John Magoro with its premise set on D-Day, June 5, 1944. It narrates the story of several American troops who are dropped behind enemy lines to execute a crucial mission. Amidst the intensity of the enemy fire, planes are shot down, killing most of the soldiers on the landing. Private Ed Boyce fortunately survives the crash and finds a group of people who decide to continue the mission. After they witness one of their superiors being killed by a Nazi, Corporal Ford leads the group into town to complete their mission. On their journey, they uncover shocking secrets about an ongoing Nazi experiment. Being a war movie first and foremost, Overlord portrays a variety of breathtaking visual effects and cinematography. It also has the gore and violence that one can expect from a zombie horror flick. Julius Harvey has taken a simple story and turned it into a fusion of action, horror, and bloodshed due to his tactful direction. He has portrayed a group of one-dimensional characters as the victorious heroes in one of the most significant wars known to humankind. Furthermore, it serves as a stark improvement from the cheap and cheesy exploitation films that the 70s and 80s had. Despite having several features in common with them, truth be told, J.J. Abrams' involvement in creating this film probably played a large part in that. Despite having minor shortcomings, it is an overall excellent example of a realistic action horror film, which is a B-movie with a Hollywood budget at the end of the day. <laughs> Dracula Untold 2014 This movie is one of Gary Shore's most sought-after films. It stars Luke Evans and Dominic Cooper in lead roles and focuses on Vlad, a young lord who lives a peaceful life with his family. While ruling over their kingdom, things take a turn for the worst when a Turk warlord makes a large demand from him, which he cannot fulfill. To protect his people from this warlord, Vlad takes a huge step which ends up costing him terribly. Fantasy buffs will immediately be taken by this film, set in the premise of a kingdom in the 15th century. It is an underrated action horror flick with a dramatic plot that has been directed remarkably. The story is narrated in a systematic flow that represents good structure and also evokes a great screenplay. The special effects of this film are top-notch, and the music score enhances the setting's ambience. Luke Evans' outstanding performance successfully evokes the message, portraying the necessity of evil which is a dominant theme found in the film. However, viewers must keep in mind that this is no affiliation to Bram Stoker's Dracula and must not be compared to that. If historical accuracy is what you are seeking, you will not find it here. <laughs> Outlander 2008 Outlander is an independent sci-fi action film starring Jim Caviezel, Sophia Miles, and Jack Houston. The plot is loosely based on the 9th century epic poem Beowulf. It is set in the year 709 AD, the Iron Age, where a spacecraft crashes into the Viking kingdom of Herit, Norway. The pilot turns on the beacon and familiarizes himself with the planet's language and learns a disturbing truth about the mission he was carrying out. 
Soon, a series of unfortunate events take place as he ventures into a desolate village. This film is very popular among Creature Feature fans and draws several elements from A-list horror films. It has an extremely elaborate and dangerous creature that brings entertaining unpredictability to the movie. It also contains plot twists that are intelligently executed by the director. Besides its outstanding special effects and cinematography, it also upholds traits of Viking mythology. Furthermore, viewers are impressed with the actor's performances, especially of the Jim Caviezel. This film's fight sequences are well choreographed and the fusion of fantasy and sci-fi blow the viewers' minds. Did you know this movie is the first in Western cinema to feature Old Norse, the language from which modern Icelandic and several other Scandinavian languages emerged? Frankenstein's Army 2013 Frankenstein's Army is a Dutch-American Czech found footage horror film directed by Richard Raporst. Its premise lies in the latter part of World War II, where Russian soldiers deploying into eastern Germany stumble across a secret Nazi lab that has unearthed the journal of Dr. Victor Frankenstein. The scientists have studied the legendary doctor's work to create a ferocious army of their own, using his techniques as Hitler's final desperate ploy to win the war. First and foremost, this film is praised for its unusual storyline and reports remarkable direction. Although it has been accused of having a simple narrative and average CGI effects, it successfully gathered a large cult following due to its unusual plot. While it isn't scary in the traditional supernatural sense, it certainly holds an eerie feeling with a dehumanizing overtone. The handheld camera technique excellently complemented the war setting and created a war documentary voyeur impact on viewers. Although the premise seems rather far-fetched, this is no reason to overlook its political themes. Overall, it has an interesting display of what an alternate history could have potentially been like. This is all the time we had for today's episode. We hope you guys liked it. It would be awesome if you guys can take some time to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to tell us which topic you want us to cover in the comment section. Have a fantastic day ahead and stay safe.